Hello everyone. In this video, I want to show you just another one solution of air support for Nei Master Laser. Let's go. As a pipe, I will use 4 mm brass pipe. It will be connected like this and bend it at the end. And also, I will make a nozzle for this pipe. Nozzle I will make out of piece of brass. <laughs> I, of course, will not use all this piece. Okay, a bit more details. How I will make it. I want this pipe located like here. And it will be air support pipe. It will be bent here. As a support, I will make them from these aluminum pieces. And I will mount these pieces like here. The pipe will cross over the supports and will be fixed inside them. But it will be possible to move the pipe up and down. As a nozzle, I will use this piece of brass. I will make a nozzle out of this. To connect the pipe to air compressor, I will use just a regular aquarium pipe. This uh, connects to this one. And actually, I'm pretty sure that this will be enough. This connection will be enough. So this pipe will go from here to here. The actual length of pipe I will discover a bit later. And it will be enough to move the laser and uh, the pipe is not touch nothing and it works. In this location I want to have this aquarium sink to close an air if I don't need it, because I will use a small air compressor. And to make a support for this piece I will use an aluminum and make some support like this. So let's start from the supports. To make a support I will use my Proxon milling machine. Just a little touch. And let's go. At first I want to have a lens of support of 40 millimeters. Here I have almost 41, 41 and 1. So I need to remove one one millimeter more. Again. So I need to cut exactly half a millimeter. I will move for four tenths and cut. And now clean cut on a full length. Okay, first one done. Doing the same for the second one. Pieces are ready. Uh, as I want to mount them like here. I need to remove these sides. And here I need to left just 10 millimeters. So let's go. I mark the line until where I need to cut. And then the same.
Okay, many tasks on the mountain supports are done. Now the holes. Holes for mountain, here and here. And holes for pipe. My supports are done and it's time to test fit. The bottom support will be screwed with the 3 mm screws to the laser. Like this. For the top support will be used the same screws as I'm connecting a laser to the machine. But for now, for test, I'm use the same screws as for button support. So pipe will go here, but now it's not connected and it's just on. To connect the pipe, I'm using the another one, silicon pipe. It's a pieces of the silicon pipe that I will use for air, as an air line. I'm mounting these two pieces like this. And now the air pipe goes through them. And now I could change the height of the pipe without any problem and it's fixed quite well. So it's how the pipe support will look like. I'll continue with uh, the nozzle. To make a nozzle I will use the same milling machine, but with round table. Now I will drill a hole 0.8 millimeters in the middle of the nozzle. It looks already okay, but it still needs to be connected to the pipe. So, inner diameter of the pipe is 3 mm.24 thousandths. I was made my insert 3 mm.25 thousandths. So, it should fit inside the pipe and stay there without any other additions. On the next step, I will do a few things. At first, I will cut a bit uh, the angle of insert to insert it uh, more easy into the pipe. And second, I will uh, drill a hole in the middle. Okay, with 1.5 mm center drill, I already have a hole directly to mine 0.8 mm hole. So, and it's a time to test fit everything together with the pipe. It's how insert looks like. And it will definitely go insert the pipe, but I will press it. Now I have all pieces together and it's a time to assemble a laser.
Okay, now everything is assembled and it's the time for making some tests. I will cut some squares, 15 millimeters, with next settings. 7 mm per second speed, 100% power and 3 passes. So, let's go. Now, without air. We see quite a lot of smoke. And now, the same settings, but with air support. And it's a time to, to take a look on the results. We could, I could say, yeah. With air it's cut it very easy and without air it has some non-cut places. As well as it's not as clean as with air. So I'm pretty satisfied with the result. Maybe for someone it's interesting, so you could build quite similar thing. And it looks like. Thank you everyone for watching and subscribe for my channel if you like it. Bye bye.